Thank you for coming, everyone. I have a short prepared statement, after which I'll open the floor up to questions. First off, I want to thank members of the local and national media uh, for attending today, as well as members of the local, provincial, and federal governments. Prime Minister Harper. The Phoenix Force is racing towards Earth. It is thought that this force seeks out Hope Summers, the mutant messiah, as its new host. The X-Men wish to prepare Hope for this eventuality. The X-Men believe that this signifies the reemergence of the mutant species. The Avengers, meanwhile, are currently trying to take Miss Summers into protective custody. The battle lines have been drawn in the sand, and it seems we are headed for unavoidable conflict. Comic shops all over the world are being forced to choose sides. We have been receiving calls nonstop from the public and from all levels of government. They want to know where our shop stands. We at Stadium Comics are here to announce today that we will be siding with the X-Men. <laughs> Rob, Ricky, Ian, and I strongly believe in our mutant friends that have for far too long been forced into exile on the island of Utopia. We believe that they are best equipped to deal with the safety and stewardship of Miss Summers, as well as any potential dangers that may accompany the arrival of the Phoenix Force. As well, we feel that the Avengers do not speak for this world, and we are tired of them imposing their will and judgment on other nations, humanity, and mutant kind. We encourage all comic shops, citizens of Brampton, citizens of our nation, and citizens of the world, to join us in our support of the X-Men team. Thank you very much. I'll now open the floor to questions. Yes, Bill from the Shoppers World Gazette. How will Stadium Comics be supporting the X-Men? That's a good question, Bill. We'll be supporting the X-Men through several initiatives in our store, most important of which will be on Tuesday, April 3rd. That's the day we're going to be selling Avengers vs. X-Men, uh, issue one, a day earlier than the traditional Wednesday release date, uh, as well as all of the variants that go along with that book. Sounds like you're building an event around this book. What else can we expect on April 3rd? Well, we're going to have comic artists here in store sketching on the covers of the uh, blank variants for fans, if they so choose. And we're also going to have uh, some giveaways here in store in the form of X-Men mini posters and X-Men team pins. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think I see Jim back there from the Globe and Mail has a question. Aren't you backing the X-Men because you hate Brian Michael Bendis' writing on the Avengers? <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say that uh, all of us here at Stadium aren't, uh, you know, big fans of Brian Michael Bendis on the Avengers. Uh, we just think he's been on the book way too long, and it's, um, I don't know, I think the X-Men is just a more robust reading experience, and uh, the characters in the X-Men are much better as well. Are you not aware that Bendis will be leaving Avengers and writing X-Men after this event? I didn't, I didn't know either. Yeah. Crap. Um, uh, I'm sorry, you've caught us off guard there, Jim. Um, who's going to be taking his place? Well, our sources say it's Jonathan Hickman. Jonathan Hickman? He's good. Like, He's really, really good. That's, that's trouble. Did you read Manhattan Projects? Yeah. Damn it. Um, press conference has ended. No further questions, anybody. Thank you. Fight the real enemy.